Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Wedlock. This should be episode 12, I believe. And probably the main goal for this episode is to make it to Celadon, I think. And try and get us some good moves on our Mons. Because there's that big uh, Superstore there. Did not mean to open that. So we could possibly get some decent TMs randomized to there. Yeah, sell it on. And hopefully actually get some good moves on all our ones. But uh, let's start with the team recap before we do that. We got the oldest pair, Kachiga the Crobat, with Bite, Leech Life, Wing Attack, and Supersonic. Paired with Chick Hicks the Jolteon, with Thundershot, Quick Attack, Pedal Dance, and Sand Attack. Sorry about that, I need to start the timer. Then we got Stick the Persian with Cut, Feigned Attack, Bite, and Payday. Paired with Sandwich the Dawnfan with Horn Attack, Water Gun, Growl, and Defense Curl. Uh, then we got Gary with Protect, Icy Wind, Headbutt, and Bite. Paired with Jesse with Tackle, Defense Curl, Magnitude, and Rock Throw. And with that, let's begin our journey over to Celadon. Uh, I think the name writer is here, but not much else. Let's actually see if we can buy better Pokeballs now. I haven't checked in a while. I don't even know how many Pokeballs we actually have either. Is there anything we can sell? I feel like there's a few things we probably can. Revival Herb. I forgot we have the Lucky Egg. Mail. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be EV training in this series. I think that's it. And we can get great balls now. We can't even buy Pokeballs here. Let's just go ahead and buy 20 of them. I 16, oh wait, wait, no, let's do a smart, because there's vending machines in the next town I think too, we can use those to get a better price, let's buy five of these if we need them at some point, and I think that'll do it for now, we could actually get a decent amount of encounters if we wanted to, because we could go down, I think I'll save that though. Yeah, at least two over this way. Plus, I think we get a gift mon. The uh, mon that's usually Eevee. But, we'll see what it actually is. What do I have out front? I think that'll work. I'll just push with this team for now. You might even be able to take on uh, Erica today. Not sure. I did look up her levels. I think her highest mod was at 29. Ooh, nice way to start off the episode, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna wing attack it. Brute force. All right, yeah, just keep spamming that. So, I mean, level-wise, oh. Okay, just brought out the better pair for taking out him. So we're still on Chiga and Chikix for now. Still our pair. Didn't change anything. Yeah, as long as time permits, we should be able to take on Erica. Let's actually stay in here. Well, I think that's only neutral because I think Dragon resists Electric if I remember right. Still does better than her Astonish. Free attack's not doing much either. I get a high roll, this might take it out. Ooh, just barely survived. Quick attack can take it out. Let me check something. 
You know I have to aim that coin, but I don't know who's carrying it. Jesse? No. Okay, sandwiches. So let's take that. Put it on Kachiga. Since we're using him, using her right now. Let's go ahead and fight this old man too. Actually, my best bet might be to try and skip as many of these as I can. Get the TMs and then come back and clear out the route. Because then I could use whoever if we get decent TMs. Kylo Swine. Oh, can't switch. This one kind of messes up this pair. Can I get a flinch? Alright, get a flinch. Just need two more. Or one more flinch. One more flinch. Hot or snow? Don't kill. Okay. Barely did anything. We got this. Confuser. Hundred percent. Oh well, we still have supersonic, so definitely. I mean, it can't. It's a ghost type move, so it can't be used against some. But I'll definitely take that over fifty-five percent accuracy. I just realized I probably shouldn't have spent that much money if I'm going to buy TMs. They're expensive. Try it out. We can always come back here with the amulet coin, grind some up. Uh, do we want to? Yeah, we'll go ahead and get this kind of few hidden items in here too. Venonat, male venonat. Right, let's confuse Ray. You. <laughs> so we're ten levels above. I don't trust any of these moves. Throw a great ball and see what happens. So close. Got it, nice. Its eyes act as radar, enabling it to be active in darkness. The eyes can also shoot powerful beams. Turns into Venomoth. I think... How you spell that? Yeah. There we go. Let's get all these items. Scope lens? Is that for crits? Yes, it is. Uh, I'll definitely give that to somebody. Just have to figure out who. Choice fan? Man. Good items over here. Honestly, never realized that there was three hidden items in this grass either. Let's see if we can keep the trend on going. Good items. King's Rock. All good items. 
working on. I think if we're careful about this, we can skip. I almost ran into them. We can skip most of these guys. If not all of them. Yeah. And then we can just come back after. What's she gonna say? Yep, that's what I'm going for, lady. There's an item on this one, maybe? I'm just kinda guessing, honestly. Pretty sure there's supposed to be a lot of hidden items down in these things. Go ahead and get this counter now. Might as well, we're already here. If I don't do it now, I'll forget if I did or didn't. Ooh, Totodile. Alright. Confuse Ray. We've got some solid mons to throw on the team if anybody dies. Backups in the PC. Uh, I feel like a great ball isn't going to do it. Full health, the toe dial. Made pretty decent catch rates, if I remember right. Yeah. And he snapped out. Are we going to hit him with each life? He is 22. Oh, back out. Don't believe this will kill. Probably won't even do much at all. And just spam this until it gets low. Does he have a sh Oh, he has leftovers. Now we definitely want to catch him. Right, with this kind of damage, I think Bite wouldn't even kill. Low there, but you know, one more leech life, and then we'll just start chunking balls at him. He's gonna heal back up into the yellow, maybe with leftovers. Again. Ooh. Actually, we're gonna use a potion. So those water guns are actually using a good amount of damage. Yeah, it's using our age. Okay, if we sit here for a while, I'll use that. Um, Timer ball, I have. If we can catch him this time, should be in the yellow. Oh. Not even close. Don't know how many turns in a tire wall is like really good to use. I feel like that's something I should know, but
think I could hit him with one now. Each life. I really want to get this, if nothing else, for that leftovers. By these next three, we don't catch them, we'll throw a uh, timer ball at them. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, you want to be caught. One, two. Good thing Bite special because he has leered us a ton. Alright, we'll throw this one. This one didn't catch. I'll hit him with Leech Life and then a Timer Ball. Alright. Seems a pain. Wish I had some kind of paralyze or sleep or something. Ooh, gosh. Alright, this is going to be the lowest I could get him. Glad I didn't hit him with that last turn. I almost did. Thought we killed him. Alright. Timer ball. Come on. Nice. Male turtle. It's small, but rough and tough. It won't hesitate to take a bite out of anything that moves. Right, it'll turn into a for alligator. Mm, name it all Fred. Fred the for alligator. We can head on up to the big city. Big city! Oh, yeah, this is where the Team Rocket hideout is, too. Heal up and grab these items off these mons. I'll go check out some TMs. Even that had nothing. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to berry juice. There we go. A whole bunch of good uh, held items now. I don't even know which floor it is. Might be able to buy Ultra Balls here too. But that little... It's probably not our priority today. TM Hydro Cannon. Disable. Future Sight. Peck. Protect. Restoration. Hydro Cannon. Could be D. Could be alright. I don't know. Locks us out for the next turn, though. We'll buy it and see who can learn it. Uh, otherwise, I'll pick up Peck to see who can learn it. Because it could be handy. Uh, let's see. Hydro Cannon. It has 150 power. Mm. <clears throat> Let's see. I mean, Stick and Sandwich would be a pretty powerful move for Chick Hicks. I 
And we are weak to water ground, which I mean we have pedal dance, but this be more likely to one shot something. Uh, we'll hold on to it for right now. We'll see. I'll probably end up teaching it. Oh, it's only 35 power. We do have fighting weakness on this team, but it's only 35 power. So I don't think that's really gonna help much. Alright, let's see. Is that really all the TMs? I mean, I think we can get more on the roof. We get three more. For some reason, I thought there was more TMs by here, though. I'll slide it. Let's see. I think Sandwich with False Swipe could be decent. Because Jesse has a better moose set already. Sandwich doesn't have a whole lot of powerful moves, so it doesn't hurt him too bad to learn false sweep. He might be our new uh Pokemon catcher. This might be the floor where we buy stones and stuff. Yeah. Next on the roof, because there's that, I think it's like a little girl or something on the roof, you buy the water, pop, and lemonade, and give her. Yeah, here we go. It's also where we can stock up on healing. Swipes, still not very good. Come on, something good. Ice Punch. Well, if we can ever get anybody to learn Ice Punch, we've got two of them now. Pound is 40 power. Lately's the only one that can learn it anyway. Fury Swipes. Minimum of 36. You can go higher. Gary's the only one that can learn it. Well, this is not what I was planning. I was hoping to at least get a few decent moves. Buy some lemonades. I don't know how many we bought. For now, Let's see how many we actually picked up. Thirteen. Let's give these items to somebody. Um, let's give this to Sandwich. King Rock. Ability to flinch. I feel like I should give that to uh, Kachiga. Choice band. Mm. Either stick or sandwich would probably benefit the best because they don't really have much else to use right now other than like one move. The uh, scope lens chick kicks. That should be it for now. 
We actually are going to teach. Let's teach a hydro cannon to Jolteon. Sometimes, though. Do we really need pedal dance? I feel like, like Hydro Cannon's better than pedal dance. Because even with the recharge, we'd still be locked into pedal dance. I'd do 140 with 2, 150 with 1, and it's 90% accuracy, though. I'll regret this, but get rid of set attack. There might be those few times where we really we know pedal dance will knock out in one hit. We don't want to risk that 10%. If we want to go clear that route, or if we just want to take on the gym. I think we're pretty good level for the gym, so I think we could just take him on. Let's go check out the, uh, the uh, lottery place too. Oh wait, I think we need to go get the coin case before we can talk to these guys. I should get an encounter here too. Uh, I think it's this one. Yep. There we go, now we can go check it out. And then we can start saving up for money because I don't really want to play the lottery. But we can buy coins with real money, like the money in the game. And then trade it for TMs or we can also get a static encounter here. That's TM13. I feel like it's Nida Ice Beam. I think that's what it usually is. Yeah, these are not gonna actually be these I don't think. So those are just kinda risky. Okay, we can actually see what these are. Crawdont. Banffy. Whismer. Gasly. Fencer, I think I checked them all. Or Bizbet's probably either Ghastly or Crawdon, honestly. Yeah. But you're not gonna do it right now. Maybe we could get Crawdon easily. Ghastly would be a little bit more expensive. Oh, uh, what's over here? Yeah, just items. Don't really need any of those. Wish we could see what the TMs were actually gonna be. Can I actually go get something back here? Oh yeah, we can go get the uh, static encounter from behind the uh, superstore real fast. Is there an item over here? There it is. Antidote. I gotta run up all these stairs. See what our I think it's EV encounter is. Primate. 
male primate. Call him, uh, let's call him Amazon for Prime Ape. Amazon Prime. There we go. It's not bad. I think it'll be level 20 or 25, too, so. Decent addition. We, I don't think we've had a primate, have we? I mean, it doesn't matter because it's a static encounter, so we couldn't choose, but... I feel like there should be something over here. Here, uh, I think I'm going to go back and fight the trainers, or at least some of them. So we're already about 30 minutes in. Just get some of these. Can we use our bike down here? Well, I don't even know if I had the bike equipped. We don't. Can't use it. Who do we have out? Let's uh, switch into this to pair. I'll actually give him the amulet coin too. We actually kind of need money now, young. We get a ton of money. I guess we could take the roll on the uh, TMs at the game corner. Would be a fighting type right off the bat, too. This could be bad. Uh, see what he goes for. High jump kick? Hurt yourself? Triple kick. That's not gonna be good. He went for a quick attack. Do much. Right, he's revealed three of his moves. At least triple kick is what, 30? I think it does three kicks with 10. Right, we should be able to kill. Nice. Don't know if Triple Kick would have killed us or not. I think we might have barely survived. Staryu. Would have been close though, probably. Just hit that. Oh, we are intimidated. Rapid spin. Should know something else, but I don't know why it's going for rapid spin. Ship tree. Nice little Gary sweep going on. We're almost to like the half point of the game now. Because that Erica will be the fourth gym leader. Snorlax. Let's see if we can take this on too. Yeah, halfway through almost. I mean, there's still a lot to do. Some of the biggest part of the games are coming up, so. Let's actually switch out. Headbutt and stuff's not gonna do much to Jesse. 
and we have strong moves, I think, to take him on. Jesse could learn Hydro Cannon. That might actually be, if nothing else, just to go against other like golems and stuff. Make it easier, maybe. I don't know what a special is looking like though. I mean, I know his physical is probably higher. Oh, yeah, special attacks like nothing. Some magnitude and stuff probably be better off. Let's see. Use this fresh water. Come on, old man. I fight this guy, maybe one or two others, depending on how they go. Call it good. Pick up on the next episode, clearing this off, and go take on the gym, probably. Start getting too overleveled, might just leave him here. Take on the gym. I think after this gym, the gyms kind of start to bump up the difficulty level wise. I think this one's like 29 is the highest, next one's... I have it pulled up in a tab on my phone. Nuzleaf. Take that on. The next one's high is, yeah, 43. So it jumps up like 14 levels. There's a decent amount of stuff I think in between this one and the next one, but still. Team Rocket Hideout, I think Silphco's in between those, maybe. And the Tower at Lavender Town. I don't know, Silphco's later on, I think. Is it? I can't remember. It's in Saffron, isn't it? So we'd have to get the tea. Can't remember where you get the tea at, honestly. Probably come to me after a little while, after I'm done recording. Let's <laughs> get a bite. Three hit KO, down with that. <laughs> Gary's now 28, or at least should be. Oh. He's like a crunch. Uh, this does give us the flinch, but this lowers special defense as well, or can. So we'll just go for it. Soul Rock. Let's try out the crunch. Oh yeah, one shot. Fighting Elite Four apparently too, and he's got a Lugia. Alright, let's go for the Icy Wind. Should do enough to at least two hit KO I would assume, since it's part flying. Yeah. Crit helped out too. Oh, and he missed. Alright, but. <laughs> Almost 29. Right, we got to switch on somebody else now. Uh, let's just switch Gary in. Or Jesse, I mean, not Gary. Switch Gary out for Jesse. Another Elite Four. 
This is where all the Elite Fours hang out. Just see if Jesse can learn Earthquake by level up. That'd be nice. I feel like it does. I feel like it should at least. Right, this might be our last trainer here. Cut it off after that. Leap. Magma 2 should do a decent amount. Ooh, at least I don't have a grass move. Acid. Don't poison. Oh, there's defense. This might kill. Yeah, this should kill since five did almost have. Nido Queen did lure our defense, so I'd rather switch out. I don't think Needle Queen really has much at this level. It might have double kick though. Let's try not to find out. Nice. Gary just took 29 and is now probably the highest on our team. Anti. Water type, pretty sure. Kind of have to stay in. Yeah, that's one. And we missed. Alright, since that's not gonna do much, probably just hit it with crunch. down. Oh well. Get him on this next move. Oh, come on. So that doesn't really matter. Eleven. Be good even if we hit ourselves. And we do. Kill up the strengths, not risking that. There should be a full heal. Alright, break through. Come on. Can't hit yourself three times in a row. Apparently you can't. <sighs> like how when I confuse the like wild Pokemon and stuff to try to catch them, they never hurt themselves. I hurt myself three times in a row. It's awesome. Go duo. Jesse can take that on. One more mod. What's it gonna be? Spiro. We can take that on too. Alright. And with that, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hate to do it mid route, but if we do the whole route, it's gonna be like an hour long video. So if you like what you see, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and keep leaving those comments. Really appreciate them. Alright, see you guys next time. Peace.